Welcome to my TikTok class. Last week we talked about what a stimulus is and this week we're talking about different types of stimulus class is, classes, stimulus classes. So just to review, a stimulus class is any group of stimuli that share common elements. The first element that we could look at is formal dimensions. So this is what it looks like. We're thinking about the size, color, intensity, weight, and spatial position of the stimulus in relation to other stimuli. So for example, I have a pink sticky note and a blue sticky note. I have a large sticky note and a small sticky note. We can also think about things like prepositions. So hand me the notepad to the right, hand me the notepad to the left. These are a stimulus class. They both have some common formal similarities. They both have lines and they're both used for the same function. So these two notepads are both an SD for writing. Stay tuned to the next video where we talk about the ABCs of behavior. Okay, so we talked about formal dimensions. Now we're gonna talk about temporal loci of stimuli. These are stimulus changes that occur prior to or soon after the behavior. So this is our lovely ABCs of behavior. So we have an antecedent. This is any stimuli that occurs right before the behavior of interest. We have our behavior of interest that should be something observable and measurable and our consequence. This is anything that happens right after the behavior. We're talking two to five seconds after the behavior. We can break down literally anything we can observe someone do with this framework. Okay, has this situation ever happened to you? The antecedent, I see someone waving towards me. The behavior, I wave back to them. Consequence, they say, hey, Jennifer, and I realize they weren't waving to me, and it's super, super awkward. And we are on the last one, which is functional. So with this type of class, we're basically just looking at the effect the stimulus has on the behavior. So stimuli can cause an immediate but temporary effect in behavior or a delayed but relatively permanent effect. So let's look at this example. Seeing someone wave towards me cues this behavior of waving back or saying hi back. And this having an awkward experience where they don't reinforce my behavior for waving to them may cause me in the future to make sure that they're not waving to someone behind me before I wave back. So when I think of this type of stimulus class, I'm thinking SDs, I'm thinking SPs, I'm thinking punishment, I'm thinking reinforcement, I'm thinking positive, negative punishment, positive, negative reinforcement, and we're gonna get to that stuff, but this is just the beginning. So we'll talk about that stuff soon.